Good morning, everybody. Good morning in church. Good morning at home. It's lovely to feel the sort of buzz in church that we haven't felt for oh, ages. It's lovely to have a crowd in church, and that is partly added to by the presence of some of our friends from St. Agnes. Welcome if you've made the trip in the rain all the way down the road from St. Agnes. Welcome wherever you've come from. Welcome wherever you are. Whether that's in France or Spain or Orkney or Sussex or around the corner. Welcome to this day when we celebrate the feast of all saints and we remember all souls. There'll be a few instructions um, to give out as we go through the liturgy this morning. I won't give them all to you now because you'll forget them by the time we get to the middle. But I am hoping that all of you who want to have got one or two candles so that when the name of the person that you have given us is read out, we'll read them out slowly so that there won't be a huge um, crowd of people in the aisle. When the name is read out, you come forward and Alison and I will light your candles here. I'll tell you this again. Alison and I will light your candles here and you can then go to the sides and either put them on the sides yourself under the supervision of Jeff and Brian or hand them over to Jeff and Brian and they'll put them along the walls for you. But most of all, we come together to worship God and give thanks that we are the saints of God in Reddish. So, Alison and I, I will, I'll make my way over to Alison at the side. We've said our prayer. I'll ring the bell. We will stand. And as long as you're wearing a mask in church, please join us in the singing. Thank you.
be with you. The Lord bless you. Rejoice, people of God. Praise the Lord. Let us keep the feast in honour of all God's saints, in whose victory the angels rejoice and glorify the Son of God. Rejoice, people of God. Praise the Lord. Rejoice, Rejoice people, people of, of God. God. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Would you like to sit down? That's the first instruction I failed to give you, isn't it? That we didn't have all the um, verses of the first hymn. That, <clears throat> that will happen another couple of times. It is so lovely, and it might be really poignant at times this morning, that today, when we are remembering all the saints and souls, um, and reading Andy's name, uh, we have Andy and Steve playing and singing for us. So thank you for that first one. We are celebrating as the one of the prayers this morning will say, we are celebrating with a great cloud of witnesses who surround us, those invisible to us who have gone before us. We're celebrating our fellowship here with the people of St. Agnes and those guests and friends who've come to remember their loved ones. We're celebrating that we're part of the church across the world. And we're celebrating with all those who have run the race, the race of life before us, who have carried the baton of faith and handed it on to us. We stand before the throne of God with countless crowds from every nation and race, tribe and language. Christ calls us to share in the heavenly banquet of his love with all the saints in earth and heaven. Knowing our unworthiness and the compassionate love of Christ, let us ask from him mercy, forgiveness and encouragement. We praise you for the way you have worked across the centuries, the way you have moved in so many lives to make known your purpose, offer your guidance, and express your love. Great, Great is, is your faithfulness. We praise you for the way you have spoken throughout history, to your people, Israel, to your church, to countless generations of believers. Great, Great is your faithfulness. We praise you for the great cloud of witnesses that surround us, for our fellowship here, for your church across the world, and all those who have run the race before us. Great is your faithfulness. We praise you for the example we have been given to follow, through the disciples and apostles, and through the saints of old. Great is your faithfulness. Forgive us that we sometimes forget all you have done, our love for you is weak, our trust hesitant, and our commitment poor. Great is your faithfulness. Speak now to our lives, that our love may grow, our faith be deepened, and our resolve to serve you be strengthened. So may we live always to your praise and glory. Great is your faithfulness. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. Amen. Would you stand and join us to sing the Gloria?
we gather our prayer in the words of today's collect. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Would you sit? Noreen is going to come and read for us. A reading from Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is in full immortality, having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them, found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine, and they will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I heard that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. together so that we, the living, are remembering those who have passed through death into a new and everlasting life with God. A life that Mary in that gospel could not imagine because it all depended on Jesus, on his death his resurrection, and his passing through death into that new and everlasting life with God. The first reading from Wisdom reminds us that we, us and them, are in the hands of God now. They are where no torment can reach them. They are at peace. And we, the living, recognise that that's our destination too. But not yet. Because in the strength of God, there is a lot for us to do. These candles that we're all invited to pick up remind us of so much. They represent a person. A parent, a partner, a sibling, a child, a friend. Somebody who has shaped us, and taught us, and tested us, and loved us. They represent our sorrow. It might be real keen sorrow now for somebody who's recently passed. It might be a sorrow that we know will never leave us, even though it's years 
since that person died. They represent our sorrow, which we only have because we loved. And they represent our thanksgiving, that that person's life was intertwined with ours. God chose them to walk alongside us for a time. They represent them and us. The names of all those we've come to remember and those whose names may not be read out this morning but who we have in our hearts. They represent them. Also as we like them, they represent us. Us on this feast of all saints. Because we still have the race to run. We still have our life to live. We still have God's love and grace and hope and peace to share. So when we come to light our candles for them, let's light them for us too. For all that they've left us with, and for all that we are called to do in the world. Each of us something different because we are all God's somebody special. The older we get, the more we tend to reflect on what we've done and not done in our lives. It doesn't matter how old we are, there is still something to be for God and to do for God. Quietly, very often, unsung, sometimes unnoticed, and that's when it's hard. But these candles are for us as well. As we place them, we remember them and how they shaped us, and we remember that we've still got time to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, to be people of kindness and humility, be bearers of the good news, be people who are part of the mission of God to share love in the world. And they represent our faith. We're only here today because even if we're clinging to it with our fingernails, we have the gift of faith, which draws us here, which helps us believe, and which gives us strength and hope for the journey before us. A candle that represents them and us. We're going to be lighting our candles in church very shortly. Perhaps at home you have candles too. And when you hear the name of somebody who is precious to you, please light your candles. We'll take some time and they'll be quiet. We're not going to play music. We're just going to be quiet so that we can listen we can listen to what God is saying to us about them and about us. John's going to come forward and read the names that we have. And Alison and I will light your candles. So the people on this side in church, if you would come forward, Alison will light your candle and then you can go around the side to Brian. People on this side, if you would come forward to me. And Jeff will light your candles. No, I'll light them. Jeff will help you place them.
George Burnett. Brian Evans. Tom Powell. Bill Powell. Marion Rigby. Vera Bradbury. Bill Bradbury. John Evans. Ellen Evans. Mary Hopkins. Stanley Hopkins. Andrew Paul Hopkins. Bill McClay. Margaret Stewart. Dot Vinden, Dorothy Scrivens, Harry Scrivens, Annie Plunkett, Edward Plunkett, Agnes Plunkett, Cecil Holden Ellison. Helen Barbara Ellison, Iris Ellison, <coughs> Stanley Tennant, Joan Davenport, Frederick Davenport, Marjorie Thompson, Lily Thompson, George Thompson. Brenda Tilson, David Davenport, Doreen Williams, Karen Sutcliffe, Robert Williams, Hilda Anderson, William Anderson. Ken Denton, D. Denton, Chris Buck, Marjorie Thompson, Kenneth Thompson, Ella Poppet, Ron Poppet, Haywood Wayne, Joan Wayne, Neil McLennan. Evelyn Aspden, Joan Richardson, Bill Richardson, Doris Ferris, John Ferris, Ruth Marsland, Alice Rook, Herbert Rook. Nellie Rhodes, Fred Rhodes, Dorothy Capes, Brian Capes, Joseph Tomlinson, Nora Tomlinson, Lena Ashton, Bill West, Daisy Rayner, Thomas Rayner, Thomas Leslie Rayner, Derek Turner, William Herbert Jones, Joe Parker, Alex Todd, Minnie Todd, Harry Duffy, Kathy Parker, Edith Parker, John Redgate, Margaret Redgate, 
Harold Dean. Rose Dean. Clement Pashley. Edith Pashley. Anthony Green. Stephen Ratchford. Margaret Harding. Kenneth Harding. Nicola Cameron. Kathleen Cameron. James Cameron. Gordon Kenyon. Louise Kenyon. Jacqueline Bezik. Josephine Green, Winifred Owen, Margaret Brown, Peter Knott, Gladys Knott, Peter Knott, What's for Jackie? David Knott, Mary Murray, Joseph Murray, Joyce Sutherland. Linda Daly. Phil Settle. Andrew Conliffe Jones. Brenda Dixon. Elaine Peacock. Elsie Dewhurst, Olga Shipperbottom, Irene Mitchell, Michael Collins. Nora Stanton. Phyllis Yowell. Edward James Yowell. Would you join me in saying the prayer? Lord, we remember with love and affection, and we give thanks with faith and trust for all those whose lives have been interwoven with ours, whose love we have counted on, and whose precious memories we cherish. As we remember them now, May we draw closer to them and to you. Amen.
So, if you are able to, in church, would you stand as we profess our faith in the living God? We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Carol is going to come and lead us in our prayers. Our prayers for today. Watch over us all, Lord. Strengthen our faith as we trust and understand your truth. May we always faithfully abide in your love. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for the world God loves. Dearest Lord, we ask that your love and healing enfold us all as we walk this challenging season throughout the world. Give wisdom to those who bear the load of making decisions in the COP26 climate change meeting. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the church. We pray for all who lead the church worldwide, for the churches of St. Elizabeth, St. Agnes and St. Mary. We pray for our Bishop David and our area bishops. We pray for Angie and Alison. We offer thanks and prayer for all those who serve and work for the church and the wider community. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the sick who are in hospital, for Gladys Burnett, baby James Eastwood, Steve, Marion's friend, and for those who are at home, Stephen McGee, Andrew Plunkett, Richard Shaw, Frank Stanton, Ian Allen, Sheila Rothwell, Vernon Mitchell, Rebecca Hughes, Claire Nebel, John Stevenson, Baby Eloise Lawson, Dorothy Jessup, Janice Neary, Lizzie Spear, Ken Cotton, Colin Thompson, Val Aldred, and Miriam Lungs. We pray for the souls of the recently departed, for Jack Waterhouse and Jan Devolder. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. We remember those whose anniversaries fall this week. May Martin, Walter Old, Elsie Cross, Harriet Old, Eric Kelly, Jean Sulkowski, Ada Beresford, Eva Sharps, Angela Jones, Eric Lambs, Eric Watson. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Would you stand? We are fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Through Christ our Lord, who came and preached peace to those who were far off and to those who were near. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. In a physically distanced way in church and in a virtual way online, let us offer one another a sign of peace. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And now we give you thanks, most gracious God, surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses and glorified in the assembly of your saints. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. We, your holy church, acclaim you. In communion with angels and archangels and with all who served you on earth and worship you now in heaven, we raise our voice to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and God of might, God of power and God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna Through him, with him, 
and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. With saints and martyrs throughout the ages, let us pray together with confidence in the words our Saviour taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. I heard the voice of a great multitude crying, Alleluia! The Lord our God has entered into his kingdom. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray together. Eternal Father, we thank you for feeding us with these heavenly gifts. May our communion strengthen us in faith, build us up in hope, and make us grow in love. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but it looks out there as though why we've been praying and singing. The sun's come out. They're all up there praying and singing with us. I published The Bands of Marriage between Connor Patrick Owen, resident in the parish of St. Elizabeth and on the electoral roll at St. George's, heavily, and Katie Elizabeth Spencer, resident in the parish of St. Elizabeth and on the electoral roll at St. George's, heavily. This is for the third time of asking. If any of you know any reason in law why these people may not marry each other, you are to declare it now. Connor and Katie were intending to be with us today. Um, but anyway, good news for them if they are with us online. Um, they can go ahead and get married next month. Most of the, most of the announcements are um, notices which you either have in your service booklet or can take away with you anyway. So they are all just about the things that are happening this week. Um, I should say that on Wednesday, um, Alison will be, Alison and I actually, will be at, at the Dementia Friendly Cafe at St Agnes. Is there anything else that you would like to say, Val, about what's happening there? I will be with you next week. And I had a call from, um, you may remember that St. Agnes um, have a working organ, and often when we've been up there in the past, Sandy has been playing it. Um, Sandy is not well. Um, I had a call from her from um, the Meadows, and um, she would appreciate our prayers. Uh, the call was too late for me to get in touch with Carol and add them to the prayer list this morning, but um, Sandy is in our prayers too. And I heard last week that um, a young woman who lives in Reddish grew up, grew up here, all her friends are still here, um, killed herself uh, a week ago. Um, a lot of young people are really struggling with life at the moment. And there have been a number of young people from Reddish and in our family, church family circles who have taken their lives recently. We keep them all in our prayers. Otherwise, there's good news for those we are praying for. Baby James has had his um, kidney that was dead. He's only a few weeks old. He's had his kidney out and his chemotherapy is going well. And um, Ken Cotton is learning to climb the stairs again at home. And he'll be causing Val trouble again soon. Please take these service sheets away with you. You'll see that on Tuesday night we'll be in church with all those people for whom Alison and I have done funerals for over the last two years. Um, there will be, we've invited a lot of people because we've done a lot of funerals and not been able to hold the All Souls service um, properly last year. So do, do think of us on Tuesday night and the two or three members um, of the families of those people, that, those 50 or 60 people who we have done funerals for.
Now, we haven't had the choir with us today, but they were in church on Thursday night because they have already started rehearsing for Christmas. We need to do Christmas, well, we don't really actually know how we need to do Christmas yet this year because it's still six weeks off and all sorts of, seven weeks off, anything can happen. Um, what we do know is that, um, as we did a couple of years ago, we're going to welcome the families and friends and people who work at um, St. Francis Hospice in Didsbury, where Susie is their fundraiser. Two years ago, we invited them to celebrate their Christmas carol service here. We've done that again. We're not quite sure how many we'll be able to welcome into church, but um, many of you who are sitting here came two years ago. And there won't be another time before Christmas when we're planning to be together singing carols until actually Christmas. So if you would like to take that um, leaflet away with you that you have or can pick up at the back when you leave, that will give you details of how you can ring Susie and book a place. You don't have to pay, but you must book. Yes, next Sunday I'm going to be at St Agnes, Alison will be here, and then in two Sundays time it's Remembrance Sunday. And we are invited after the service to gather outside St Mary's at 12.15 and Informally, that means there's no road closure, no police, no band, but we walk up the pavements informally to gather at the cenotaph. So if you want to join us, I've put the details in the service sheet. Soon we'll be beginning our Christmas raffle, but we've not got it together yet. But do please, over the next few weeks, have something spare with you in your pockets so that you can part with some folded money uh, for our Christmas raffle. Is there anything else I should mention? Okay. So, thank yous then. Ah, we might have some birthdays as well, mightn't we? Today is Carol and Lawrence's wedding anniversary. Lovely to have you both with us this morning, Carol and Lawrence. Um, we might have some birthdays, come to that in a minute, but thank yous to Sean and Tony, to Carol and to Noreen, to our welcomers Andy and Kate, our wardens, Jeff and Brian, and to all of you, those of you at home and those of you in church for being with us today to remember those special people to listen to Andy and Steve and they've got one more song for us and to celebrate that we are the people of God we are the family of God we are God's chosen ones and we have much to do would you like to stand? Birthdays. the birthday do we have any birthdays this week? We sang to Mel last week and it was hers yesterday. Any birthdays this week? Jay's. His birthday on Tuesday and his wedding on Saturday. Okay. Bab's son and um, Joe's grandson. It's his birthday on Tuesday and his wedding on Saturday. Let's sing to Jay and to anybody else whose birthday is this week.
There is no end of his greatness. One generation shall praise your works to another. And shall declare your power. All your works praise you, Lord. And your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. And speak of your power. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let everything bless his holy name forever and ever. And let our mouths sing God's praise. We are singing the first, the third, sorry, the first, the fourth, the fifth, and then again the first. Amen. Amen. 